Okay, so this is perspective drawing, and today we're going to use uh, a vanishing point and a horizon line to create a one-point perspective drawing. You need a few simple things, so a good sharpened pencil. I just use my handheld sharpener and sharpen this one up. You obviously need a piece of paper. An eraser, you're going to draw lightly, so the eraser is important because we're going to have to change some things. Um, during a couple of steps. You also need a straight edge. Now, I have a ruler, so I'm going to use my ruler, but if you don't have a ruler handy, you can use anything like uh, the edge of a book would work, okay, or even a folded up sheet of paper, anything that has a straight edge on it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is kind of set our paper up, and I want to take my ruler and lay it down horizontally side to side across my paper. I want to try to make sure it's near the center and that my line is as straight as possible. Now what I'm going to do is just hold it down. I'm going to take my pencil and i got a middle grip so it's very light. I'm not going to press down real hard and I'm going to draw a line across it. Now I'm going over mine a couple times just so you guys will be able to see it on the video. So this is called my horizon line. This is the horizon line. The horizon line is the spot on the earth where the sky and the ground touch. So if you've ever been out to the beach and you've looked out at the ocean, you saw where the sky touches the ocean, that's the horizon line. Now what I'm going to do for this drawing is I'm going to go right on the center of my horizon line and I'm going to make a small dark dot. Now I'm going to do mine kind of dark and kind of big so you guys can see it and make sure we got a good visual on it. Uh, but I don't want it much bigger than that, okay? You just need to be able to know where it is. This dot is called the vanishing point. That's going to be where all of our diagonal lines, the lines that go at angles, okay? Those are diagonals. It's going to be where those diagonal lines go to. So my first move, what I want to do is kind of come over to the side, okay? I'm going to use the left side of my paper. I'm going to go above my horizon line. I'm going to make a mark. Now, it doesn't matter how long this is. You don't want to take it any further than about halfway. So I just made mine maybe, I don't know, two inches or so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom of my paper. So what it's doing is it's coming off the bottom uh, edge and the left edge of the paper. So I'm going to try to straighten it up as straight as possible. Working with a camera that's sitting above the paper, so it's kind of tricky. So now I have like a tall rectangle looking shape here, okay? What I'm going to do is go to the opposite side, and I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to go to the area above the horizon line. I'm going to make a line that goes across to the outer edge of the paper over on the right side. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page. So I'm lining my ruler up with the edge of the page and basically making a rectangle type shape using the corner here and the uh, edges on the side and the bottom for each. Okay. Now what I want to do, I want to go into this area right here where I have that horizon line on both objects, left side and right side. I'm going to use my eraser now, and I'm going to erase out the horizon line, okay? This is one reason why you want to draw lightly on this, because it's a lot easier to erase if you draw lightly. If you press down really heavy on your paper, and you might have already done that, you're going to run into some problems because you'll have lines that are left over, all right? So what I've got now is I've got that rectangle shape on this side, rectangle shape on this side, and they're clean in the center, okay? Now, if you look on the corners of your objects here, if you have any lines that extend off to the side or up toward the top, just erase those off. I drew mine pretty clean, so I don't have the opportunity to do it, but you might actually have a line that kind of looks like this, and that it extends off beyond the corner. Don't worry about it. If you do, just erase it. That's called an extended line. What we want to have is good clean corners here, okay? So my next move is to look at my vanishing point 
and to look at the corners of my objects here, because I'm going to turn these into buildings, okay? So I've got a corner here, and I've got a corner here. This is above the horizon line. So this corner is above. I'm going to connect the line from this corner to my vanishing point. So I'm using my ruler. I always want to use my ruler. I never want to draw it without a ruler because if I do, it's going to look really, really wonky. I don't want wonky lines. I want good straight lines. Okay, so from the vanishing point to the corner. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom here. So when I go to the bottom right here, I'm going to connect my ruler to the bottom corner and again to the vanishing point. Now, I'm drawing these lines kind of dark so you guys can see them pretty good on the video. But as you're drawing, remember, don't press down super hard because you're going to have to erase some of this anyways. So now what I have is it looks kind of like a triangle going here. Okay. At this point, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make another vertical line. Remember, vertical lines go up and down. Okay, I'm going to make another vertical line similar to this one. Now this is going to be the, the side of the building that I'm facing to. This is going to be the opposite side of the building. So what I want to do is choose the area. I usually like to go somewhere halfway in between and I'll put another vertical line. So what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll take my handy dandy ruler or whatever straight edge you're using. You can do that and I'll make another straight line. Now, what I want to do here is I want to erase both of these diagonal lines right here from this corner to here and from this corner to here. I erase those out. Now, notice that I'm not getting rid of my vanishing point. I want to keep that in there because it's going to be very important to us throughout the whole drawing. So, only my diagonal lines are getting erased here. Now, you can already kind of see that I got like a little cube here. But what I need to do is make sure I go in here to where I see the horizon line on the inside. And I'm going to take that out too. Because I don't want to be able to see through this cube. I want it to look like it's in front of my horizon line. That's how we create that space. So now you see it looks like i got a cube sitting in front of the horizon line. Okay, I'm going to change that into a building in just a few minutes. But I'm going to go ahead over to this side and do the same thing that I did on this side. So I'm going to come over here. I got to put my ruler this way so I can see it better. I'm going to use the corner of the cube, or excuse me, corner of the shape right now, this rectangle, and the vanishing point. So remember, the edge of the ruler always needs to touch the corner and the vanishing point. And then I draw between them so that I connect them with a good diagonal line that's angled, just like that. Then I do the same thing down to the bottom here. I'm going in this area right down here. I'm going to lay my straight edge down and line it up takes a little bit of time yep there we go and that's good enough and i'm gonna connect them okay now got those two diagonal lines my next step was just like i did over here i gotta make my vertical line somewhere near the center is what i like to do so i'm gonna take my ruler set it down uh, yeah i'm gonna make it right there boom right there okay straight line now, I'll go to this corner I just created and this corner that I just created, and I'm going to erase those diagonals. Remember, just like on the other one, I don't want to erase the vanishing point. And what I want to have is a good, clean corner right here and right here. I don't want any extended lines sticking off of it. Because, see, this is an extended line now. We've got to get rid of it, make it look cleaner. Now, one thing that always happens when I draw with pencil on paper like this is I have a lot of this crap laying around, these eraser stuff. Look, just do this. Just get it out of the way. All right? You don't want your drawing to be all jacked up because what happened is sometimes that stuff will get under the edge of the ruler and it'll mess your art up. Can't move your uh, pencil and your ruler correctly. So now i got a pretty decent setup. There's a little line there I'm going to get rid of. i got a pretty decent setup here. So i got a cube on the left, a cube on the right. I want to make sure I go in and erase this out. I almost forgot. So I'm going to go in there and take out my horizon line that's inside that cube. Bada bang, bada boom. And good. Clean enough. Good enough. Now, I got a cube and cube, okay? Now, I want to make this kind of like a street scene. So what I'm going to do is go in and add the street in. I'm going to keep it very simple. All I'm going to do is use the vanishing point, and then I'm going to use the bottom edge of each of these cubes. I'm going to give myself a small bit of space. And what that's going to do is kind of create a sidewalk-looking thing. So I'm going to go here, 
and I don't know, that looks like a good bit of space right there. Okay, it's a pretty good distance in between. So I got my ruler set up on the vanishing point. I'm gonna go uh, from there all the way down to the bottom of the page and I'll just let it go off. I'll change this in just a minute, but I just wanna show you what happens. So from the vanishing point, just off the bottom of the page. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna set it up on the vanishing point right here. I'm gonna set it up where I got a little bit of space, about the same space as on the other one. It didn't have to be exactly the same. Then I'll make my line going down and that's gonna end up creating like a street. And then because we left that space in, we also have a sidewalk uh, drawn in there automatically. So I'm gonna fix it up just a little bit, make it look uh, a little bit different so it doesn't go all the way uh, off the page. I'm gonna actually put another street that goes back here so it's like an intersection maybe. So the easy way to do that is take your ruler and use it just like you did the horizon line, okay? So I'm gonna set it down near the corner of the buildings. So this corner, if you'll notice, is a little bit lower than this corner. So this is the one I want to base my uh, street off of. I want to make my uh, street coming from the area of the highest corner. Now, all I do is this. I go from the edge of that cube over to the line I drew here. So I literally just put a line in between those two so that they're touching, okay? And then I'm gonna line it up again. Remember, you wanna keep it horizontal. Keep it uh, pretty much as straight across as you can. If it is a little bit uh, wonky, don't worry about it. But if it's really crazy, oh yeah, you gotta fix that. So I'm gonna go up a little bit, give myself some space between this line and the edge of the ruler, and I'm gonna do the same thing again. And this is gonna make kinda like a crossroads or an intersection. Now all I need to do is go in here and erase this line. So it looks like the street has no uh, break. It looks like it's, uh, or excuse me, so it looks like it's open and it has a break. Then I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. I'm gonna erase this line so that it looks open and it looks like it has a break, okay? So now we got like a little crossroads or intersection. We got two buildings and it's going off way off into the distance up there, okay? So now I'm gonna go in Maybe get rid of my eraser shavings. And I'm gonna just show you guys how to do quick little things like a couple of doors and windows. It's really easy. So I'm just gonna put a regular uh, kind of door down here on the bottom of this one. Now at this point, because most of you are just now learning how to do this, uh, the scale and the size is not so important I'll show you a couple of different ways. So this one is gonna be a bit more exaggerated and the door is gonna look really, really big. Kind of unrealistic, okay? So what I'm doing is I just put two vertical lines in here. I put a vertical here, a vertical here. Then I laid my ruler down and I made them horizontal up at the top so that they connect. Now I'm gonna go in and erase any extended lines. And then I'm just gonna go in there and put a small window just to kind of show you guys how this will work. So I'm gonna use a couple of horizontal lines and a couple of verticals to connect it. Let's see, uh-oh, I hate it when it does that. So a couple of verticals to connect them and now I got a little square or rectangle type shape I can use for a window. And I'm just gonna clean up my corners a little bit. So now I got a window. Uh, inside of this door and I could go in here and you know, I'm just gonna draw a small circle like for a doorknob So that will be like a door that's on this building. Okay Now if I wanted to make it more realistic, it would definitely have to be smaller because this is a big street This is a big building. Okay, my door would actually Look more like this and I'll show you a correct uh, scale or size on this side so the one on the right or excuse me the one on the left is gonna be just a bit more exaggerated the one on the right will be a bit more realistic. Now, I'll be honest with you, at this point, it doesn't matter to me how you do it, uh, whether it's exaggerated uh, and non-realistic or whether it's uh, more in proportion or more to scale and more realistic. Doesn't matter to me, and I'll tell you why, because we're all learning here. And the cool thing about drawing and the cool thing about art in general is that you're just gonna experiment with some stuff. Sometimes things look good the first time we do them. Sometimes they look really bad, but the key is we wanna to go to experiment in each one of our drawings or our artwork. So once again, all I did here, okay, I went in here and I made my shape first, like a little rectangle. I made a smaller one inside there for the window, 
okay? Now, once again, I could go over here and I could just do a small circle for the door and boom, I'm done with it. So in comparison to the sizes of the buildings, this is gonna look a bit more realistic because it's smaller. This one's gonna look a bit more exaggerated. But don't worry about that at this point, the idea is that you know how to do it. Now, if you'll notice, the shape I have here on this building, that first shape was that tall rectangle. When I made my door here, I started the same way with a tall rectangle. I did the exact same thing on this side, okay? I had a tall rectangle here on this part of the building. When I made my door, I have a tall rectangle here. Here. Now notice, the top of the building is horizontal, the corner is vertical. Horizontal, vertical, okay? Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Oh, wrong. Horizontal, vertical, okay? Vertical lines go up, horizontal lines go across. I get mixed up too, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, so my next move is I wanna go in here and show you how to work on the side areas of the building. Now remember, on the side areas, we have four lines. One at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, that's two. Then I have one on this corner and one on that corner. That's four. So the top and the bottom of the building, those lines are diagonal and they go to the vanishing point. So when I make a doorway here, the top and the bottom lines also need to go to the vanishing point. But the side of the door, kind of like this one, they just need to go straight up and down. So I'm gonna make a bigger open doorway here. This is gonna be something kind of like a garage uh, or a, a bay door that you could like drive a car into or, or you know, it's going to be really big. <laughs> Check this out. You'll see what I'm saying. Okay. Now, I did two vertical lines first. It's easiest if you start that way. Okay. Vertical here, vertical here. Now, I don't need to do anything to the bottom because my bottom line is already there. But I do need to make the top. Now, notice this. The top of the building is going down to the vanishing point, but that's because it is above this horizon line. See? It's above the horizon line. But I want my door below the top of the door below the horizon line. So I don't really need to do anything crazy except use the vanishing point. So I'm going to lay my ruler on the vanishing point. Now I'm looking right here. That's where I'm looking. That's where my eyes are right now. And if you'll notice when I start looking over here, it gives me a perfect line for the top of my doorway. Now, if I want to make it shorter so it's not as tall, all I have to do is keep my ruler on the vanishing point and slide it down. Now, easy trick for that is to take the tip of your pencil, and if you set it right there on the vanishing point, I can move my ruler however I want. As long as it touches my pencil, it's always going to be touching the vanishing point, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to line my, the top of this doorway up about, uh, I'm going to exaggerate it. Let me make it kind of tall. I'm going to go about right there. So now it's already lined up where the tip of my pencil is here on my vanishing point. All I got to do is go into this area in between those two vertical lines and I'm going to make a diagonal. And now look at there. I got the top of the doorway. I take my eraser. I erase off the top edges. And now I've got an area where it looks like, you know, maybe you could drive a car into. Now, if I wanted to make it look like the doorway was closed, like it's one of those garage doors and the doors roll down on it, then look, all I got to do is this. I'll put my pencil kind of like that before, like that trick I showed you, and I'll slide my ruler until it touches it. Then what I do is all, all I got to do is kind of tilt my ruler, and I'll go here and make a line. I'll put my pencil point back. I'll tilt my ruler again. I'll go here and I'll make a line. Pencil point goes back on the vanishing point. I'll tilt my ruler, draw a line, vanishing point, tilt, draw a line, vanishing point, tilt, draw a line, vanishing point, tilt, and draw a line. Now when I move my ruler, boom, it's like magic. You can see that I got like, it's like the door's closed, like I got one of those uh, roll up garage doors. Very simple. Remember, all you need to make sure you're doing is using that vanishing point and the edge of your ruler. Okay, don't try to freehand this because it's going to look terrible. 
Now, I could do the same thing over here, but to save time, I'm just going to work on this building and show you guys what to do. Now, everything I do over here, I kind of want to repeat on this side, but once again, there's no sense in you guys watching a crazy long video uh, if I can explain everything really quickly on one area. All you need to do is do the same thing on the other side, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do windows now. Very simple. I'm going to use the top areas. Now, remember, when I make a window in this area, I don't have to use the vanishing point at all because everything is either straight across or straight up and down in this side, okay? Straight across, straight up and down. But when I make a window here, I have to use that vanishing point because I have lines that are angled at the top and angled at the bottom but on the side they're straight up and down. I'll show you, it's really easy. So what I'm gonna do first is lay my ruler down and I'm actually gonna use the width of the ruler. This is a, a way that you can kind of do a real quick hack. So I'm gonna take this window where it's about as big or as tall as the width of my ruler. See, that worked out actually pretty good. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna come in here. I've got my horizontal lines, those side to side lines. I'm going to lay my ruler down and I'm going to make those vertical lines for the edges that go up and down, just like that. And then I'm going to come to the edge of the page and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if you want to, you could take your window all the way off the edge of the paper. It's up to you. I mean, I actually probably would have done that if I weren't showing you guys how to draw this. Because that's an easy way to uh, make sure that you got a good size window and it actually takes less time. But I want to show you guys how to uh, do this with the corners intact. So that's why I made mine just a shape here, okay? Now, I'm cleaning up my corners as good as I can. Remember, I'm drawing dark so you guys can see it pretty good. But as you're doing it draw lightly, it'll really help you. Now, the easiest way, okay, let's say I got a window here. I'm going to go in and just put a couple of vertical lines in it so that it looks like I got a big window with like maybe three sections of glass. Now, I rarely ever measure when I do this because it just it's not that important to me. I just want to make it look cool, okay? So I'm just doing things, and you can tell this one's a little bit bigger than these two. But a lot of people have that OCD mentality, and they want to go in and make everything the same, so that's up to you. Now, I've got one window here that I broke down into three sections, so it looks like I have one, two, three pieces of glass here, three different panels uh, for the window. So to make one on this side, I'm going to show you a trick that's super easy and it's very, very quick. You can do this with no problem. When I make a glass on this side of window, I want to use this corner and I want to use this corner of the first window I made. That's why I drew this one first. So if I use this corner, and I line it up with a vanishing point using my ruler, okay? Watch what happens. I'll go here. I'm setting it on the corner of this window, and then I'm going to make sure, I'm going to slide it down just a bit so that it's touching my vanishing point, okay? Now, I don't want to draw from the corner because that means I'll go through this line. Eh, I don't want to do that. I have to do more erasing. But what I'm going to do is make sure it's lined up with this corner. I'm going to make sure it's lined up with this vanishing point, and then what I'm going to do is skip over this line, and let me draw this dark so you guys can see it. I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to make a line right there, okay? Now, remember, my ruler is touching this corner of the window, and it's touching my vanishing point. So it's already going to be in the correct angle. Now watch, when I move my ruler, see, all I did was make a mark right here, okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing from this bottom corner and the vanishing point in this area. And it's going to line everything up perfectly as it's supposed to be uh, with that diagonal line. So I'm going from the corner. And once again, it's lined up with the corner. Let me do this so you can see it better. Let's try that. it would be harder for me, but probably easier for you guys on camera. So it's on the corner of the window here and the vanishing point here. I know they're even. They're both touching, so they're good. So I'm just going to go here and draw it dark so you guys can see it. And I... I hope it's lined up right. From my viewpoint, it's kind of weird looking, but let's see. Oh, that's perfect. That'll work. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, i got my top and bottom diagonal lines. Now, if you notice, this one almost looks straight, but that's because it's real close to the horizon line. See, remember the horizon line came right through there before we erased it. So if you have a line that's going to be near the horizon line, it'll look pretty straight sometimes. But as long as you're using that vanishing point, it should be good. Okay? Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add the edges. 
So you close my window off on the uh, left and right side using a vertical. And once again, you know, I don't measure this. I just like drawing it and cleaning up the edges and it, it's gonna look pretty good, okay? So now I got a big window here. Now I broke this one up into threes, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm just gonna make two lines they are gonna be vertical, going straight up and down, okay, to break them up into threes. So now it looks like I got the same type of window throughout the whole building, okay? Just, just makes a little bit of sense visually. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys here is how to deal with the sidewalks. And remember, everything I'm doing on this side, I want to go back and do on this side too, okay? I'm going to show you guys the easy way how to do the sidewalks. Now, notice we don't have any buildings back here. This is going to work as if it's like an open field. You can go in here and you can draw some trees or whatever you want, or you can even put more buildings back there if you want to try that. Completely up to you, okay? But what we're trying to do now is we're just going to put a few details on the sidewalk. So this is really easy, and it'll work very simple if you follow this easy instruction. Start with the corner of the building, the corner, the bottom corner. Don't start up here. It's going to end up looking crazy. Use the corner of the building. And what you want to do is set your ruler up so that it looks as straight as possible. Now, remember, I ain't doing anything over here yet. I want to do this side first. So I'm going to use the corner. I'm going to draw a line that goes across and touches the edge of the street. Now, it's going to look like there's a corner piece of the sidewalk there. And then all I do, honestly, is I'll move down. And each time I move down, I'm just making a straight line, okay? Remember, you want your ruler as straight as possible and keep it horizontal. You don't want to angle in like this so that you're making lines this way. That's going to be totally wrong. You want it straight across, side to side, horizontal. Now, for some of you guys that have never done this type of drawing before, it's going to be tricky because you're not going to know what to do, and it's going to be like, man, these lines, something looks wrong. Well, it's probably because they're not straight. It's probably because they're not straight up and down, or they're not straight um, side to side. Look, don't worry about that. You, you just practice. The more you do this type of drawing, the easier it becomes. And this is the type of drawing that architects and engineers and stuff do all the time. This is technical drawing. Now, I've got this part of the sidewalk done using those horizontal lines, side to side, okay? And all I did was slide my ruler down until I ran out of page. Now, I want to make sure that I can show the section here where this part of the sidewalk would be in sections. So I'm going to go from the corner again, and I'm going to just use my vanishing point. So this one works this way. It's super easy when you do the uh, top corners because usually you only make one line. So I'm going to go here to here, and boom, I just made that line. So now it looks like I got the sections of the sidewalk that come up this way. And then if I was to turn the corner, I could see the sections going that way. All right. Now, once again, everything I do on this side, I want to practice on this side as well. Okay. Now, for the street itself, some people like to go in and do those road lines. That's fine. If you want to do that, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do that. It all starts with the vanishing point. So what I'll do here is I'll go through and I'll just use my vanishing point and I'm going to make these lines that come in and they're very tiny up near the top but as they get down near the bottom they get a little bit longer um, to show the distance of the lines. Now that looks pretty cool. I can actually if I'm doing a quick sketch I can leave it just like that okay and it will be it will look fine. But I'm going to go in and do the other side too, just to show you, because I know some of you will probably want to do that. So I'm going to use the vanishing point again. And as I come here, what's going to happen is I'm going to scoot my, I'm going to use that pencil technique I showed you earlier. It's easy that way. I'm going to scoot my ruler closer to those lines. And so what you're going to see happening when I make my second group of lines, there's going to be a space in between. So it looks like those dashes that we might see on the road, okay? Now at this point, really, all I got to do is go in and start closing my lines across, okay? Now this takes a little bit more work because we're being a little bit more exact with it, but most of the time it does end up looking better than just doing one set of dashes especially if you want to add a little bit of color to it, like if you're going to color your city and you're going to make those lines yellow or whatever, okay? And 
I've got a shadow showing up on mine, so it's kind of weird. It's hard for me to see. But I'm just going in, closing off each uh, section of those dashed lines, those pairs of lines. And what happens is, once I do that, you can already see up top above where my ruler is, how it gives me that effect, that look of those uh, uh, road lines. Kind of looks like those little stripes they have on the road, okay? Now, ooh, if I can get that one straight, there we go. Now, all I need to do is go through and kind of clean up my corners. It'll be kind of hard through here because they are so small. So if you end up erasing some of it, don't worry about it too much. It's honestly, not such a, a big deal. Now, this one, I'm going to very likely go back through. So I really want to use my straight edge anytime I make a correction, but I've been doing this long enough that I can kind of give myself a good straight line without using my ruler most of the time. But for you guys as beginners, uh, use your straight edge, it's a whole lot better. So that's a pretty quick way on how to do a street scene. Now remember, whatever you do over here, you wanna repeat over here, okay? I'm only doing this one side just to save time so you don't have to look at a long video. And after you get it done, you are free to do whatever you want to to your drawing. You can add trees in, you can try to draw people or cars. You could go in and put some clouds or airplanes or hot air balloons or whatever you wanna do in the sky, totally up to you, okay? I just wanna make sure you guys understood how to use the cube the horizon line and the vanishing point to create more of a city scene. So I hope this helps y'all out and uh, I hope you have fun doing this.